demonstration was showing this afternoon is how Intel technology is creating useful applications in the smart city. In this particular demonstration, we are showing an interconnected series of street lights in Santa Clara. Through the information from the street light, we're able to see over time what consumption has occurred on that light. We can also look at, based on traffic patterns and other sensor information, what type of dimming controls that we should use or advise the customer to use to save energy. We can also take that same information and integrate it into a mapping application where we can show all the street lights in a given area and what their current service status is. And in this case, we have a plot of lights. All of them are green except one, so that one could be failing. So let's go take a look at that specific light. And here, what we're showing is we know the light detail, we know its location, light bulb type, when it was last serviced. Based on this information, we can now schedule a service with our technicians. So we'll go ahead and do that. We know, again, by APIs that we have the technicians available. Uh, he is on duty. We know the inventory on his truck. So we can now go ahead and schedule that service. And in this case, we're going to send him an SMS text message to this phone right here. The message was sent. And in about 10 seconds, the message will be delivered to this device right here. And there it is. So that is our API service creation platform in an industrial lighting scenario. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Kelly and I'm here to talk about our IoT Living Labs. Our IoT Living Labs, as demonstrated here, are comprised of three main uh, areas. Number one is acquisition. One of the key challenges as we see in the IoT is the ability of actually gathering information, creating devices and technologies that are able to gather as much information from the world in a cost-effective, timely and connected fashion. And in particular, we're here to demonstrate the use of quark-based technologies and prototypes live in the field. The goal of the Living Labs is to rapidly prototype, is to conduct research in the wild, and it's to basically bring our technology into places that it hasn't been before. As you can see here, we have devices that are collecting information live from the field. And what they do is send information back where we process that information with traditionally some level of edge processing going on and cloud processing to represent data as demonstrated in the map here where we can log in to our living labs in London, Dublin and San Jose. And what we can actually do is log in and see, for instance, an example, one of our demonstrating projects in Hyde Park, where our, our live sensor nodes are sending us back and streaming to us data live. This here you can see information coming to us, being streamed to us directly from Hyde Park, passing through our plug and play sensor system, through a quark-based gateway, back into the cloud.